During my time in the ambulance service, I've uh, responded to countless RTCs that involve uh, motorcyclists. Um, unfortunately, motorcyclists get a bad press, and, and I believe amongst doctors, we're known as organ donors purely because of the amount of motorcyclists that are injured, and and sadly, it turns fatal. I, I believe, as a motorcyclist. Um, a lot of these accidents are avoidable and we can minimise injury by wearing the correct gear. Anything that I wear is, to, is for preservation, it's to protect me and I would never dream of riding a bike without boots, leathers, armour and crash armour and gloves. I don't care what the weather's like, you know, it doesn't matter how hot it is, I still need to be protected. I remember one of the earliest jobs I ever went to uh, when I first joined the ambulance service. It was a young female who was pillion on a motorcycle. She'd gone over a humpback bridge, come off the bike, carried on down the road in her jeans, and uh, unfortunately she landed on, on a bottom and just carried on down the road, wore through her jeans, wore through her skin, massive complications. And that, that's a memory that sticks with me, um, well, from the day that I went out. So. I might be very tempted to ride a bike with your t shirt on or decided well I'm not going to put my gloves on today but should anything occur you are going to suffer there's nothing worse than sliding down the road without protection